uh, good good uh, good noon in Australia. It's uh, five o'clock in uh, in Los Angeles. Okay. Five o'clock in Los Angeles. I'm so happy to be with you, and uh, we will be studying about the great woman of Shonem. And I would like to to talk about the this uh, nameless woman in the Bible. There was no, she has no name, but the Bible called her a great woman. Okay. And so I would like to invite you to open your Bible uh, in Second Kings, Segundo Rey. Uh, capital, uh, uh, chapter 4, verse 8. So please uh, follow me so that the, it's the Bible that will speak to us today. Okay. And so in verse 8, And it fell on a day that Elisha passed to Shonen, where was a great woman? The Bible called her a great woman in Shonem. Mm -hmm. And she constrained him to eat bread. So this woman, who was uh, an Israelite, uh, she was living in a godless surroundings. But this woman did not bow down her knees to Baal. She was faithful to God. And when the prophet Elisha uh, passed by, she oh, invited him. She was a hospitable woman. And she invited him to eat breakfast or lunch. And so it was that as often as he passed, every time the pastor or the prophet passed by in Shonem, he turned in feeder to eat bread. So Elisha found a very good woman who was very mindful of sharing her food to the pastor or the prophet. Mm -hmm. And verse 9 Follow me again, my dear. And she said unto her husband, for this woman is a husband, and said, Behold now, I perceive that this is an holy man of God, which passed by us continually. So this woman recognized that her prophet was a spiritual man. And so he recognized she recognized that goodness of the prophet. A lot of women in our church are doing the same thing. When the pastor is sick, they exercise uh, understanding. Sometimes it's not easy to be a prophet. It's not easy to be a pastor. You need to visit different places. Sometimes you spend a long time in the flight. Sometimes you go, but this woman recognizes that this man's, Elijah's, Elijah's work was a holy work. Hmm. And that he always was thinking, preparing something for the, for the prophet. In verse 9, and she said unto her husband, Behold, now I perceive that this is a holy man of God which passes by us continually. Let us make a little chamber, a little place, a little room. I pray thee on the wall and let us pour him there a bed. So she, they, she said to her husband, let's prepare a bed, a room, and a table, and a stool, also a chair, and a candlestick, a little lampara, or a light. And it shall be when he cometh to us, 
that he shall turn in thither. So what a wonderful, this greatness of a woman is not great, just a worldly greatness, but somebody who uh, support uh, the, the servant of her God in heaven. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, I was mentioning, I was mentioning 35 years ago when I was a committee member of the Philippine Philippine Union. I was looking at the pastor. They live in the vicinity of the church with their children, with their grandchildren, and suddenly uh, they were not anymore, you know, they were old. They don't know where to go. They have no more position in the church. And so one day I told the secretary, can we recommend and propose that uh, pastors who reach the age of 60, who have never built their own house, can we promise them a hundred square meter? That's that's big already for, for a missionary. And then that was 35 years ago. Last week, five of the pastor who uh, retired received their hundred square meter land. Mm. And I'm I was happy to be an instrument to take care of the old who have uh, work when they were young, they left their own country, they left their profession, and they visit Asia. And now we have more than 1,500 members. In mm. one city, we have five, five churches now. And it's wonderful to remember the, the old missionaries who they don't even speak English. They speak mm. in Spanish. Mm. But now we are enjoying the fruit of their labor. And so this woman was mindful. Mm. She was not a member of the committee. She was only an isolated, maybe the only family in that vicinity, in that little town. But she prepared a place for the prophet. Mm. And I think uh, God was looking from heaven uh, she knows that this woman was encouraging her husband to build a room, to give him a bed, a table, a stool, a candlestick, mm. and it shall be when he cometh to us that he shall turn in fighter. Mm. You know, uh, ten in 2017, I received a call from a rich man in Denver, Colorado. And I said, who is this? And then the, the 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 man who was from the Baptist church told me, Joel, when I was going to my library, I saw your book, The Science of Natural Healing by Carlos mm. Costa. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You sold it to me 20 years ago. And I said, uh, good, do you remember me? He said, I am 95 years old. I want, I have seven cars. Uh, he was a millionaire in Denver. And he said, I spoke to my wife and said, to whom should we give the car? A Toyota 4Runner who was never used for 25 years. Mm -hmm. He said, he, I kept it in the garage. And then his wife and, uh, and her husband decided, let's call Pastor Joel from the Adventist Reform, mm -hmm. and we will give him the car. Okay. And now it's my car until now. And mm -hmm. the husband and wife, they died last year of COVID. Mm -hmm. and now I always use the car uh, in doing traveling, visiting churches, baptizing people. Mm -hmm. You know, in every denomination, there are people of God isolated. Mm -hmm. who cry upon the Lord, asking for, Lord, send us missionaries who will share to us about the Sabbath truth. And my dear brothers and sisters, this woman is very, very famous in the book of Second, uh, Second Kings. So we can learn a lesson from this. And so what happened now to the woman 
because of their goodness, we must remember that every little things that we do for God's church, for the missionaries, are being rewarded by God because God does not sleep. He knows everything. And it's so, uh, in verse 11, let's follow the Bible. Uh, versículo 11. 11. And it fell on a day that he came See there, so Elisha was visiting again the family. He was doing missionary work, maybe uh, connect them, the, connecting them to the church of the of the church in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. And he turned into the chamber and lay there. So the pastor lay down in the bed that this woman and her husband has been. And I think in deep inside the, the Elisha was was. He was tired because you need to walk as an old man. He was walking and then he laid down in the bed. Verse 12. And he said to Gehazi, his servant. So Elijah has a servant. Call the Shunammite lady. Call the lady that gave me a place to sleep and food. And when he had called her, she stood before him. So this woman was always up to date. When the prophet called her, she mm. was there. Do you need anything, sir? Uh, what can I do for you? What I want, you know, I always meet people, uh, some uh, members of the church in different parts of the world who really are doing, are being moved by the Holy Spirit. They, uh, I remember when I was in Germany, I was 19 years old. I went to a nursing home to share my books. And then one old lady who's almost 100 years, she looked at me very closely. She cannot even anymore see because her eyes was already weak. She was almost 100 years old. And she told me, where are you from? I said, I'm from the Philippines. Oh, she said, I can, I can die now. I have been praying for you, the Philippines missionaries. Mm. I have been supporting the church for a long time. Now I, my children put me in the nursing home. Mm. And she told me, what are you doing? I said, I have some books from the church IMS. And she, she told me, okay. And she gave me $800. She said, mm. how many Filipinos are you with? with? I said, four. So 200 each. The more, more I die, I, I am so happy to see the fruit of the work of the Germans in the mm -hmm. Philippines. Mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. And that, oh, I said, wow, she was praying for us for 50 years. And now here am I, a Filipino, mm -hmm. coming to her in that, in that, in that he, she was alone in the, and she said to me, she touched my face and mm -hmm. told me, I am so happy that God, God, I have seen the fruit of the labor of the pastors. Oh, my dear brothers and sisters, the, what, then Elijah did not uh, just take the offer of the bed and a room. No, she ha he has something for her. In verse 12, let's follow the, your Bible. And he said to Gehazi, sir, but call this woman. Shunammite, 13, and he said unto him, he told his servant Gehazi, say now unto her, tell the woman, behold, thou hast been careful for us with, with this care. You have been very hospitable. Mm. You, what is to be done for thee? What do you want us to give to you? Oh, you, we must know that the prophet is working with God is working through the prophet. We don't take uh, for granted the labor, the tithes and offering, the service of cleaning the church when members voluntarily bring flowers to the church every Sabbath, when they contribute offering for 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 the people. God told the prophet, ask her what she wants. Mm -hmm. And then what happened? Wouldest thou be spoken for the king? Do you want me to bring to the king of what you have done for me? Mm. Or to the captain of the horse? 
they must notice that you have been doing good things. Mm -hmm. And the woman answered, I dwell among my own people. No, I don't need anything. Mm -hmm. I just want to love the people of God in this. Maybe in that town she was alone. Maybe there were isolated members who were persecuted because they believe in Jehovah. And this woman says, no, I just want to stay with my, I don't want to be promoted. I don't do this to receive a reward. I just do this for God's people. In 14, let's follow the, the Bible. And he said, the prophet said, what then is to be done for her? And Gehazi answered, Verily, she had no child. Mm. And her husband is old. So uh, she was younger than her husband. You know, it's very hard to have a baby when your husband is old. Mm. The woman has accepted her situation. I, uh, and uh, the Gehazi said, she has no baby. No one, if, if the husband died, she will be alone forever. Mm. Oh, then uh, he said in verse 15, and he said, call her. And when he had called her, she stood in the door. And he said, verse 16, versículo 16, about this season, according to the time of life, thou shall embrace a son. Oh, you will have a baby. Mm. Finally, that was... Wow, God knows the need of every person. When you do something good, the Bible says, if ye have done unto the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. And now God is not sleeping. He knows your sacrifices. And then he said, and she said, Nay, my Lord, Thou man of God, do not lie unto thine husband. She was so excited. Are you telling the truth? Is your promise will come to fulfillment? And then the woman says, oh, maybe she was jumping for joy in her heart. She was happy. Uh, and then 17, and the woman conceived and bare a son. At that season that Elisha had said unto her, according to the time of life. Mm. Ten years ago, I went to Manila in the Philippines. And a lady, a member of our church from the Adventists. And she told me, Pastor, we were married for five years, but I never became pregnant. Mm. Can you pray for me? I said, call your husband. And so we prayed. I said, it's not my prayer, but it is God who knows if he can give you. Then mm. I said to her after prayer, next year you will have a baby. Mm. And she looked at me. And now the boy now is nine years old. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she donated the land, and that is the place where we have a church in Manila because she donated because of thankfulness okay. that a she received a baby from the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, miracles still happen. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think that you are throwing your service in the garbage. Everything is in the book of remembrance. God knows you. Uh, I remember a story I heard from a lady that she does not go to the doctor. She said, I don't drink drugs. I just stay with the natural medicine. And uh, then she has cancer. Mm. And then one day, and also she has no paper. She was illegal in the America. Uh. When, when, her, when she became sick, she went to the doctor. And the social work worker told her, I will help you mm. to be to come to the to hospital without being charged. So the, mm. the, the, the social worker helped her. And at the same time, she reported it to the government that this person is has cancer mm. and she has no paper, you know? Yeah. They gave her an immigration status. Yeah. 
And then they told her, you have no insurance. We will give you, if you die, you will be buried without paying anything. <laughs> and then her faith in God, of being faithful to, to natural medicine, until now, uh, the husband is enjoying immigration paper, everything. My dear brothers and sisters, mm. what a wonderful uh, God we have. And, yep. uh, and uh, 17, uh, in verse 18, and when the child was grown, it fell on a day that he went out to his father to the reapers. And he said unto his father, my head, my head. And he said to Alad, carry him to his mother. Mm. And when he had taken him and brought him to his mother, he sat on her knees till noon and then died. Hey. You know, so it's uh, four years, four, uh, about three or four years of family joy. They were enjoying the boy. Mm. Uh, the boy was the joy of happiness of the family in of the Shunammite. Those days have been wonderful. But this joy was broken. Her son fell sick and died. Why do you think God permitted the boy to die? Why this? Are we questioning the Lord? There are people who said the time that when I was baptized, I lose my job. Or my husband died. Where is God? Why did he do this? But this, when God took the baby, the four-year-old boy, not to hurt that great woman, but to help her realize that son was the gift of heaven. And that one day when she remembered that it all came from God, the miracle came from God, she got him back again alive. Mm -hmm. And that is verse 25. So she went and came unto the man of God to Mount Carmel. And it came to pass. It says, run now, I pray thee, to meet her and say unto her, it is well. So the, the prophet Elisha saw her running towards her his house. And she asked him, are you well? What happened? Is it well with thy husband? Is it well with the child? And she answered, it is well. You remember this answer? Some people will complain. Oh, my, my son died. Where, where were you? Where was God? Mm -hmm. But she answered, how are you? It is well. Did you remember the song? It is well with my mm -hmm. soul. Yeah. No matter what we're going through. Maybe church members have hurt our hearts. Maybe people have not invited us to the potluck. Maybe we were not included, but a, a true great woman in the Bible says, her answer, even though she lost her son, he said, everything is well. Mm. We must call that everything works together for good to them that love God to them who are called according to his purpose. Yes, God at times tests our reliance upon Him by taking from us sometimes what He had given to us. Sometimes God take it back. He did that to Abraham. You know, God gave a child to Abraham and then he, God said, kill the boy. Uh, but Abraham, he did that, the Shunammite, and he did that to Job also in, in, mm -hmm. the, in, in Job history. Mm -hmm. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, we all will pass that great persecution of life where we can lost everything. Mm -hmm. But always remember the answer of this woman, it is well with my soul. May God bless us that we become firm, you know, that we become, we show our joyfulness. Even you are two or three that gathers together in my name. Don't think that you are only excited because there is 
visitors. No, no, even without visitor. My wife will always say, never mind if somebody hurt me. I will not give my, my chair in the church to other people. I will be there. Mm -hmm. And my wife even now is preparing food for more than 20 years. She prepared a lot of food mm -hmm. for the church. And so they know her already that she is there because we accept, we don't accept people. We accept Jesus in our life. May God bless us to be faithful. If God take it, give it to God. But I know that God cares in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, brother. Amen. Thank you.